Hello everyone, welcome to Pharma GLP. We provide easy and informative videos on pharma procedures. If you are new to this channel, then subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to press the like button. In today's video, we will discuss on HPLC calibration. First, we will understand what is calibration. The calibration is a process that demonstrates a particular instrument or device produces results within specified limit as compared to those produced by a traceable standard over an appropriate range of measurements. Now coming to HPLC. HPLC stands for High Performance Liquid Chromatography or it is also known as High Pressure Liquid Chromatography. HPLC is a powerful analytical technique used in pharma industry for testing quality of their products, for which different tests are carried out such as assay test, related substances, dissolution test, content uniformity, blend uniformity test, and many more. Due to its continuous usage, its performance might be impacted. That is the reason it is necessary to calibrate the HPLC periodically to get accurate and reliable results. Also, the calibration of instruments or devices is requirement as per various guidelines established by regulatory bodies. Some of the commonly referenced guidelines are 21 CFR guideline, ICHQ7 guideline on GMP for API, WHO guideline on GMP, then IP guideline on calibration of HPLC. Also, the USP chapter 621 gives general requirements for chromatographic procedure and methods including HPLC. In this video, I will explain the basic steps of HPLC calibration. Before starting with HPLC calibration, first we will understand what are the components of HPLC. The main components of HPLC system are mobile phase reservoir, pump, auto sampler compartment, column compartment, detector and recorder. So let's discuss what all tests are carried out during HPLC calibration for UV and PDA detector. Pump related tests are flow rate accuracy, flow rate precision and gradient accuracy. Next is auto sampler compartment for which thermostat accuracy, injection volume accuracy, injector volume precision, injector volume linearity, injector carryover and vial position accuracy. Then column compartment for which thermostat accuracy is performed. Last is detector for which wavelength accuracy by caffeine, drift and noise and detector linearity is performed. Now we will understand how to perform HPLC calibration along with its limits. Pump related tests are flow rate accuracy. Flow rate accuracy and precision is performed using HPLC grade water and measurements are taken at different flow rates such as 0.5 ml, 1 ml, 2 ml, 3 ml per minute for all ports A, B, C and D. Limit for flow rate accuracy should not be more than 2% of set flow rate. Now flow rate precision. For flow rate precision, 6 measurements are taken for each flow and percentage RSD is calculated. Limit for percentage RSD should not be more than 0.5% of 6 measurements. Now gradient accuracy. The gradient accuracy is performed using HPLC grade water in A port and 0.1% acetone solution in B, C, D port and the standard gradient program is run for AB, AC, AD channel. The limit for step accuracy should not be more than 2% and limit for step ripple should not be more than 0.5%. Now auto sampler compartment for which thermostat accuracy is performed in which sampler compartment temperature is measured at 4 degree, 10 degree, 15 degree and 25 degree and the limit is plus minus 2 degree of set temperature. Injection volume accuracy. The injection volume accuracy is performed for different injection volumes such as 5 microliter, 10 microliter, 20, 50, 100 microliter using HPLC grade water and the limit is plus minus 1% of set volume or plus minus 2% depending upon the make of HPLC. Next is injector volume precision. The injector volume precision is also known as system precision is performed using the low concentration of caffeine solution at 273 nanometer wavelength for lower and higher injection volume such as 5 microliter and 100 microliter, injected 6 replicate each and detector response is measured. The limit for percentage RSD of peak area and retention time 
for six replicate of lower and higher injection volume should not be more than 1.0 percent. Now injector volume linearity. The injector volume linearity performed using the same low concentration of caffeine standard solution at 273 nanometer wavelength by varying injection volume such as 5 microliter, 10 microliter, 20, 50, 100 microliter and the detector response is measured. In this, the concentration of caffeine standard is kept constant and the injection volume is changed. The linearity graph is plotted for injection volume is on x-axis against peak area of caffeine on y-axis and the correlation coefficient is calculated. The limit for correlation coefficient should not be less than 0 0.990. Now injector carryover. The injector carryover is performed using the known low concentration of caffeine standard solution at 273 nanometer in which blank solution is injected before and after 6 or 3 replicates injections of higher injection volume such as 100 microliter. The carryover to caffeine is measured in blank injected after caffeine replicates. The limit for carryover should not be more than 0.01%. Now coming to vial position. The injector volume precision, linearity, carryover and vial position accuracy can be clubbed together or performed individually. The limit is while position should be matched with actual position given the sequence and all septa should be punctured. Now coming to column compartment. The thermostat accuracy is performed in which column moment temperature is measured at 10 degree, 15, 25, 40 degree, 60 degree up to 80 degree depending upon the make of HPLC we are using. The limit is plus minus 2 degree of set temperature. Now last is detector. The wavelength accuracy by caffeine is performed in which first is wavelength accuracy for VWD detector. The known low concentration of caffeine solution is used and the test is performed for different wavelengths such as 205 nanometer, 245 nanometer and 273 nanometer. In this, the sequence is run for each wavelength that is for 205 nanometer, the wavelength range is from 202 nanometer to 208 nanometer. For 245 nanometer, the wavelength range is from 242 nanometer to 248 nanometer and for 273 nanometer, the wavelength range is from 270 to 276 nanometer at the interval of 1 nanometer each and detector response is recorded. Whereas wavelength accuracy for PDA detector, the caffeine solution is injected for entire range such as 200 nanometer to 400 nanometer and detector response is recorded. The limit is the maxima should obtain at 205 nanometer and 273 nanometer within plus minus 2 nanometer and the minima should obtain at 245 nanometer within plus minus 2 nanometer. Next is drift and noise. The drift and noise is performed using HPLC grade water in which the limit for noise is plus minus 100 micro AU and the limit for drift is plus minus 2000 micro AU per hour. Last is detector linearity. The detector linearity is performed using different levels of caffeine standard solution that is 5 ppm, 10 ppm, 20, 25 and 50 ppm. Each level injected in triplicate and detector response is measured. In detector linearity, the injection volume is kept constant and the concentration of caffeine standard is changed. The linearity graph is plotted for concentration of caffeine standard is on x-axis against average peak area of caffeine on y-axis and correlation coefficient and system suitability is checked. The limit for correlation coefficient should not be less than 0 0.990. The limit for system suitability in which the theoretical plate should be obtained not less than 2000 and telling factor should be obtained between 0.8 and 2.0. That's all for today's video. I hope you find it informative. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.